I'm Michael Cooley, and this week you're probably trying to spend all your time getting to the center of the galaxy in no man's sky. So in honor of the humble ship that's carrying you there, we here at Fixated thought we would take a look at some of the most iconic spaceships in video games. Now we're not going to do any ships that have movies attached to them. The X-Wing has gotten plenty of love. Unfortunately, that's going to take the Tiger's Claw from Wing Commander with it. We all remember our country's darkest time, right? Was it? No. Also, these aren't rankings. How are you going to rank this against this? You can't. This is a triangle. So that's ridiculous. Also, no space stations. Because some of you gamers are getting old and getting closer to death. If I'm one of you, don't, don't get, get angry. angry. We're going to put our retro pick right here at number nine. The ship from Galaga. Mmm. It's like sex. Whew. Look at those pixels. Oh, the curves. 1981's graphics. Oh. Also, shout out to my boy Zaxxon, but player, you never had a chance. Here at number eight, we're talking top-down, real-time strategy games. Now, you could go with the Protoss Carrier if you had no imagination in the boring soul of a number cruncher, or you could choose the Kestrel from FTL because you spend so much time opening and closing its doors. Both are fine choices, don't get me wrong. For our pick for number eight, we gotta go with the Banana. That's right, the fans call it the Banana. It's not, it, it doesn't actually look like that. It, it's not, yeah, there, there. The Mothership from Homeworld, that's our pick for number eight. Homeworld is super underrated and it's one of the true classics, so it got a complete remaster last year. Activate. The Mothership is both flagship and shipyard, and given enough time and resources, it can shit out a whole fleet. And if you lose it, it's mission Everything's failure. Gone. But before you rush to the comments below to write WTF, where that Starcraft, just know that our pick for number seven is the Hyperion Battlecruiser. The Battlecruiser feels beefy. It's like a steak with a big ass Yamato gun attached to it. The Yamato is loaded. Additionally, it only makes it that much cooler that the Hyperion, this giant battleship, was hijacked by Jim Raynor and company. When it comes to piloting a spaceship, there is nothing more important than mobility. Do a barrel roll. Ignoring the fact that Peppy may not know what a barrel roll is, because that is not a barrel roll, our pick at number six is the R-Wing from Star Fox. Because of course it had to be on here. You knew it did. Entering Cornaria's orbit. And it broke the surly bonds of its own game, showing up in Bayonetta 2 as a decoration in Animal Crossing, which means in the Nintendo universe, it's almost as iconic as this guy. Okay, not at all, but you get where I'm going with that, right? For number five, we gotta go to hell. Bullet hell. With a tip of the hat to Ikaruga and a subtle curtsy to the R9 from R-Type, we gotta go with the ship that was there before them all, and it's fun to say. We're talking about the Vic Viper from Gradius. Originally starting as an arcade machine, the Vic Viper and Gradius would go on to hit all of the major consoles, spawning numerous sequels. And then that spaceship would go to spaceship heaven and become the thing that all spaceships long to be, a slot machine. Look, it's not all gonna be old picks. Here at number four, we pick the Infinity from Halo. Infinity. Packed with Forerunner technology, it's the UNSC flagship, and there's a Spartan 4 training program on site. Plus, watching it ram that Covenant supercarrier, Dope. In a game that focuses on saving the universe while building sexy relationships with your crew, our pick here at number three feels like a member of the crew itself, even though you've never actually chatted up. We're talking about the Normandy from Mass Effect. For a game where the universe constantly hangs in the balance, you spend a lot of time on ship, walking around, talking to your crewmates, seeing what that guy's doing. What you doing, guy? Just tapping up some stuff. That's cool, I'll go find the next person to chat up and have a relationship with. Thought maybe if you were up for it. Without the ship at number two, our story couldn't even take place. You might think I'm about to mention the USG Ishimura from Dead Space, but you'd be wrong, even though that that is a planet cracker class ship filled to the brim with necromorphs. 
we gotta go with the original creepy ship. The Von Braun. Von Braun. The Von Braun is filled to the brim with infected psychic crew members and has an evil AI named Shodan. In terms of creepy spaceship places that you don't want to be in, this one takes the cake and then eats it all and you didn't get to have any cake. Last but not least, here at number one is the only ship that you can buy with real Earth monies. I'm talking, of course, about the Revenant from Economic Simulator and sometimes Space Combat game, EVE Online. Now, the Revenant is super rare, and they're said to only be a handful in existence. And they cost thousands of dollars, which means that you gotta round up all your buddies, and that's a shit ton of buddies, to take one down. Which means that if you succeed at destroying a Revenant, this is a moment you won't soon forget. That goes double if it was your Revenant that got exploded. The constant high stakes that surround a Revenant make it iconic in its own right, even if you've never heard of it. These are our picks for nine of the most iconic video game spaceships. Did we forget any? Uh, Pillar of Autumn much? If we did, let us know in the comments below, and hey, maybe this warrants another nine. Otherwise, check out the other great content here on Fixated, and we'll see you next time.